And now the journey goes a little bit uh, along the, life, the lifelines, um, because now we will talk about field attachable connectivity. And um, this is a very important topic because, because some, somehow you are building your machine in the field and you don't have the opportunity to work with pre-assembled cables all the time because there's a half a meter missing and a small hole you need to get through. And um, anyway, it is so important to have a robust and reliable connection which is easy to handle. And how this is working and how this is... Um, 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 built up in our portfolio. Um, I'm happy uh, to welcome Matthias and Max on stage and looking forward to, to learn something about field attachable connectivity. Thank you guys. Thank looking you forward much. for your insights. Thank you. Thank you, Kilian. <coughs> so where's our presentation? So hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the next session. In the next few minutes, my colleague uh, Max and I, we will give you some hopefully interesting information about field attachable Ethernet connectors. But uh, before we start, let me uh, yeah, give you a statement. So field attachable connectors save up to 25% time and simplify your installation uh, yeah, of Ethernet networks. We will come to this topic a little bit later when we show you some products and when we speak about the uh, assembly process in detail. So in this session, we would like to give you an, an overview about field attachable connectors at Harting. Harting offers a lot of interesting uh, connectors in this field. Today, we would like to speak only about yeah, Ethernet field attachable connectors. So, but before we start, we have to speak about field attachable. What is a field attachable connector? So, I think maybe you have an idea about it, but uh, before we start with our session, we should have a common understanding about this topic. And for us, it's quite important because we see some difference be between a field attachable connector and a connector where we need special tools, uh, crimp tools, etc., and so on. So what is our understanding? A field attachable connector allows you to make field connections at your application. This is quite important. This is one uh, important point. The second important point is you didn't need any special tools except a wrench or a, a side cutter is needed. This is only, this is more or less my personal definition of a yeah, field attachable connector in comparison to a connector solution where, we do, where you need a special tool for a crimp tool for something like that. Uh, this, is, this is the main difference between a field attachable connector and other connector solutions. So um, field attachable connectors offers a lot of yeah, customer benefits. Here we have some of them. The first important thing is the reduction of yeah, assembly time up to 25% in comparison to a connector with crimp termination, for example. A further uh, huge big benefit for the customer is this helps to simplify the installation because we have less single components. We will see it a little bit later for our connectors, for example, M12 connectors. We have just five pieces where we need, which we need for the assembly process. And at the end, we have a huge portfolio, not only for Ethernet uh, uh, connectors, besides of this uh, interesting application, do we offer also some solution for power and other applications. Um, one question to you, Max. What do you think about field attachable connectors? Do we have a common understanding about this definition? Can you work with that? More or less. Overall, I'm um, at the same side as you. Thank you, Matthias. Nevertheless, there is one further product which we need to take a look on it. Perhaps this, this little cube here is saying you something. This is the pre-link connector. Yes, I have to admit, we need a hand tool. But this hand tool is a real wonder weapon into the field. Due to the hand tool, we have a lot of advantages. We have, for example, a 100% reliable assembly process. Furthermore, we have a fast and easy handling and last but not least, we have a flexibility with the pre-link, which no other field assembly system have. So this we take a look as well in this session. But before I go into the details 
of Prelink. I'm very happy that I can give back to Matthias, who will show you now the M12 and M8 Harax system. So, back to you, Matthias. Yeah, thank you, Max. So, we talked about field attachable connectors, and uh, I told you that Harting offers a huge uh, variance of, of products. So, um, for either application. So, like a, like a bunch of flowers, so as you can see here, I prepared uh, a bunch of flowers equipped with a lot of our products. This shows our innovative uh, yeah, products in a combination with a uh, nice uh, bunch of flowers. Here, for example, do we have RJ45. Here we have different kind of M8 and M12 connectors. And now I think it's time to let us have a detailed view in our connector solution. So I will start with the M8 connector at first. So, for example, here I have one of our products, this is an M8 connector. You can see this with a, uh, with a decoding mating phase. This connector type will be used mainly for Ethernet application up to 100 in Mbit. So, and here, for example, can you see, yeah, I hope you can see it. Yes, it works. So you can see how many single parts are needed for the complete uh, connector. Here we have, for example, the lock nut. Here we have the shielding, uh, uh, um, uh, the sealing element. Here we have the shielding element. And here, for example, do we have different wire managers for different kind of application. Here, for example, uh, do we see uh, printing according tire IR 568B. And here, in comparison, the uh, printing according to the PNO standards. And finally, do we have the connector body? That's all what we need for a complete assemble. So I prepared something in advance, so you can see it here. We have to uh, put uh, through the cable to the uh, lock nut, also to the, to the ceiling and the shielding element. And finally, we have to bring the single wires to the uh, wire manager. And then we have this kind of, of assembling status. And finally, we have to cut off, cut off the single wires and put it in the right direction. There's a coding. So here, put it together and screw the part together and that's it. So now you can see how easy it is uh, to assemble this kind of connector. This is just one example for our M8 connectors. We offer this kind of to, uh, connector solution with, with in different variants. For example, we have a male version, we have a female version, and we have also a push-pull version, a Harting push-pull version for our M8 connectors. Now I will come to the next connector. This is a brand new product in our portfolio. And I'm really happy to present this kind of product to you. Here we have an X-coding connector equipped with the IDC termination inside. We will see the detailed view in a few seconds. So here we have, for example, a connector for screw locking. We will have this connector with male and a female version and also with push-pull, according to the new push-pull standard. Component which we need for the which we need for the um, M12X coding connector. Here we have also a lock nut. Here we have a different kind of of ceilings. We can cover a, a cable range from 5.1 up to 11.2. Here we have yeah uh, um, the ceiling carrier, and here we have a new complete part. This is our shielding element combined with a wire manager. And finally we have four different versions, male, female, and the push-pull version, male and female, according to the new push-pull standards. So in comparison to the M8, do we have a complete new uh, yeah, wiring system, wire managing system. So we have put through the cable also, uh, through the ceiling system and also through the wire manager. And here we can see the main difference. We have, we have to uh, dis dismantling the cable and we have to put all single wires in the separate uh, chambers. So here you can see also we have enough space uh, uh, for crossing if needed. And this connector solution can be used finally up to 10 gigabit uh, uh, data transmission. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I would say 
that's all from my side and I would now hand over to my uh, colleague Max again and he will present you some uh, thing about Prelink and give you some information about the RG45 multi feature. Thank you for your attention. So what I want to show you is the Prelink system as I promised and want to show you how easy it is to assemble it. And for this we or well, I prepared some steps here. First of all of course we have the cable, the cable preparation. It is always the same. Ah, oh, now I have to check that is in the right field. So, um, we have the cable preparation at the first step. And that the pre-link is very easy, um, or the reason why the pre-link is very easy to assemble is, well, this little cube here. So you see, there are different colors on the wire mapping here, and you just need to insert the single wires of the cable into the prelink tube. Due to the, your value time, I prepared this step already. So you see here the prelink tube, which is now onto the single wires, and I always drill the end here so that we have a good fixation of the prelink tube. Furthermore, I put the wire mapping off, and now the, la the, the step comes where we need the hand tool, the wonder weapon for this prelink. We insert it, and now you will see that on one side we have the IDCs which cuts into the single wires, and at the same step, simultaneously, the end of the cables will be cut. So, so easy it is to have a final prelink cube. And now you have a high flexibility to put this prelink cube in all kind of different connectors. I want to show you some of them. Here, for example, okay, we can take this camera. Oh no, this camera. So here, for example, we see different solutions like M12 X coded, M12 D coded, but as well different RJ40 solutions as well as a hard push pull, for example. All this is possible with the prelink, and all this is possible with the prelink portfolio very easily. So you just clip in the prelink tube into the single uh, connectors, and that's it. And we have as well a solution which going from the wire to the PCB directly. So, and how this looks like, I want to show you as well, of course. So we have here a prepared cable. As I show you uh, at the first step, we have the pre-link here, and now we just sing simply connect it, click it in, close it, and that's it. So easy it is to assemble the pre-link. And we heard Fluke before, and I am very happy to have Nigel as well in, on the stage, and he will show us how good the performance is now with the pre-link with the just assembled cable. So. Hi, Nigel. Hi. Thank you for inviting me back. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. You too. So what do you think? What performance does it have? <laughs> Shall we bet on better than, uh, better than gigabit of Ethernet? Yes, of course. Okay. So it's measuring. It's measuring, and here you have... Better than gigabit, better than 2.5, better than 5 gig, good for 10 gigabit per second Ethernet. Perfect. Yes, so thank you. Can I have this? Yes, of course. You can, you can take it you, for, for, your per, for, for your private house or something. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I will use it um, in my office. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you. So you see how easy assembly of a pre-link works. But of course, I know as well, some of you say, hmm, I don't like a tool. And if you don't fall in love with the pre-link now, I have as well another solution. And let's start with some questions. So the first question would be, do you like to cut single wires when you assemble an RG45? I think no. The second question would be, um, if you like to assemble faster, and I think there is the answer as well clear. Yes, of course. And therefore, we have the RJ45 
five multi-feature in our portfolio. So here as well, we have at first the cable preparation. We have here the cable and then we just put out the wire manager out of the RJ45 multi-feature and we see as well here the wire mapping and how easy we can insert the single wires into the wire manager. And I prepared this as well and this looks like this in the end. And now it's very easy to put everything together. We just click in the wire manager into the connector and then we close the connector. And if you're strong enough, of course, just have the power to do it, but it always depends as well on the cable and of your strength. If it's not working smoothly, you just take a simple uh, plier to help and close the connector. While this, we can as well close the cable gland at the end. So just put it on and wait a second, I tighten it a bit, put it on and screw it. So now it looks a bit unfinished and here is a big advantage comes. You just need to pull out the single wires of the multi-feature and you are good to go. This is how easy this RJ45 multi-feature works. And I also want to show you why this is and why this is so easy. I brought a picture, I hope the camera can um, see it. Ah, perfect. So let's move it. So this is the inside of an RJ45. And we see the blade, uh, the blade in the back. This is the red marked circle and the IDC in the front. And with the IDC, we connect the cable to the connector and the blade cuts in the end, the end of the wire. And this is, these are not all advantages of the RJ45 multi-feature. We have as well an angled version. So this angled version is very flexible as well. You can have it in all four directions as you wish for. So if we take a look, we have here, we have here the RJ45 and we just clip in the angled version and you just can change it in another direction, to the left, to the right, up, down, as you want. And we have as well four pole version, eight pole version with a wide range IDC. So from AVG 22 to 26, everything is possible. And the new design of the pre-link as well as uh, the multi-feature is perfectly fitting into, for example, Siemens field applications as a Siemens scale and switch, for example. So this are our solutions for field assembly. We heard about Harax, Prelink, and multi-feature. I hope you get a good impression of our solutions. And if you need further information, just check our website, call us, or get in contact anyhow. <laughs>